So here's a little carb off the mini motor project we're doing with a race engine. This is just a basic carb which you get on most little pit bikes, ATVs and mini motors. This is going to be a quick video how to strip these things and clean out, rebuild, put back together. It would solve most probably most running issues because they're normally badly adjusted or even just uh, they get normally blocked up for lack of use. But uh, first thing we'll do is take remove a bowl. This will have no doubt fuel in it so you can either unscrew this unscrew a screw and let it drain out on some rag or just unscrew a bowl and let it fall out. Before you take the remover bowl there will be inside there a gasket so before you end up ripping it off and catching the gasket and then ruining it and then needing to get another one as long as you be careful and take your time you can reuse a gasket pretty easy enough. We will go uh, start stripping it down now. All you need is basic tools before I start is some air duster to blow, blow um, well dry it out obviously. Uh, two screwdrivers and six mil. Well, I'll be using air from a compressor. What I'm using the cleaner will will be brake cleaner, but you can uh, just use car cleaner, which you can get from most places that sell car parts and car service in places, which is best bet to use. With carb cleaner, it actually comes out from solvent, so you'll be cleaning it and you'll be blowing pressure into the uh, grime and dirt, so it makes it actually easier to clean, and it does a lot better job than brake cleaner itself. I don't want to get too technical on this because it's pretty much the most basic as it can be. So we go two screws, hold this on, and then you remove the bowl itself, and then that'll leave a float. Inside here, give it a good clean out with a tough brush. There's a float, and then you've got the pivot pin which pivots with the float valve on. These normally fall out. When you do want to remove them, they never want to come out. Just give it a couple of little wiggle. So here's a little pivot pin. I don't know if the camera will pick this up. Put it there, then if I... And then you've got where the float goes on to, and then you've got the little float valve. So as long as this isn't damaged, I'll see if I can... Uh, You'll find if these are damaged or not by if they're torn, torn here. So as long as they're nice and smooth, as it's only foam, rubber, sorry. As long as it's smooth and it's got no bad edges, it should be pretty sure to reuse again. And then you take the main little valve out, which is in screw it, which is that one. And then and its seat, which is screw all the way out, which is little screws in. And then all you left is with a gasket. Give that a quick clean, but you, I would say remove a gasket if possible. But if it seems to be quite tight, just be gentle when you clean it. And then left, all there is left pretty much is the valve uh, idle screw, which is just at the side, normally with a spring on. So we can focus that for you. This one. Screw pull back this all the way out. Give all these bits a clean, blow through, any bits, if any blockage, that's what normally tends to be a problem. So give out a clean inside, blow through all the holes, blow through inside. Obviously you've got the full throttle, you've got to slide the main needle, that's on the other end of the cable full throttle, but we'll fit that after, that's quite simple. And obviously it's best bet to change these little filters on. These are a couple of quid off eBay. So yeah, give that a good clean through, make sure the bits are in, no bits are in there and it's nice and dry. No bits and nice and dry will be obviously is what you want really. And then if you're unsure if you want to do a screw tap, you can just remove this. Which I end up always showing you because it's normally fine anyway. But literally just remove these two screws, there might be a little rubber in there. Just give that a clean out. You can blow through it, turn the tap and the air comes through the other side and then turn the tap halfway blow through it and nothing comes out, that's perfectly working, perfectly fine. So fit that, give it a good clean, give it a good uh, dry up. These cans do kind of work all right, but they're not really the best. So uh, setting this up, as you've got all your little bits. So where the main, which big, uh, the big bit you screwed in, which the main jet sits into, I'm going to screw that all the way in. And do that tight uh, with six mil. And then the main jet. 
screw that all the way in tight. And then you set your little needle, which is screw lips on this little hook. And that sits inside a bowl, which then your little pivot pin, try not to drop it, we'll just go through it. This is a bit tricky, if you're not really done many of these. That just sits in there, plastic bowl, uh, float on top, and then you bowl back on. The issue with this one was you'd start the bike up and it would just cut out, it wouldn't be able to run by itself on idle, and with throttle strip full open it would run it, but as soon as you let off it, it would die again. As I was saying, this is just a basic video. I, will, I can do another in-depth video with naming all the parts and stripping it down to bare, just the bare cover casing. But on something like this, you should get away with it, really. That's when you do real big carbs for cars and that, and bikes, you want to make sure everything is dead clean in a clean environment. So bowl screw on, and make sure if you haven't screwed that previously to drain the um, fuel out, that you screw that back on. And then what we've got for the idle screw, Screw up all the way in as tight as you can go. Don't over tighten it, just so it stops turning. So until it stops. Adjusting the screw now should, from as soon as you put it back on the bike, you shouldn't, might not, well, you shouldn't really have to adjust it again. This is pretty much a basic setting you'd have on something like this. So as that's tight, as you can see, put the camera, I'll try and focus it. I'm gonna screw this exactly one and a half turns out. So from tight, do half a turn, another half a turn to make one, and then another half a turn after that to make one and a half turns. And that's it. We'll fit back back to a bike, put a needle through there on the slider, and then screw the top of the carb on. Take a plate out the cable if you need to, but it should be alright to be honest. And that's it. As basic as that. Hopefully this has come as easy as the simplest video you find on YouTube. And uh, yeah, fit that on, and we'll give it a test drive, and hopefully it uh, starts straight away. And then strip the bike back down after. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Hope this is out, and uh, speak to you soon. See you all guys later. Thank you.